the way to think about tides is this. The moon and the sun both have about the same pull. Uh, the sun is much bigger, it's much farther away. The moon is much smaller, but it's closer. Uh, so they're, whatever their position is, to, it basically pulls the water on Earth. And the way to think about it is you have a wave, a long wave, slowly going around the Earth. So the high tide, when it comes up on the, on the Atlantic beaches here on Delmarva, tends to go from south to north. And if you notice here, the high tide in Ocean City, 3.49 a.m., but it's about 15 minutes later in Rehoboth Beach. So you tend to get uh, a, a wave that moves up the coast. Uh, now, when you start talking about tides in bays, like the Chesapeake Bay, you have to think about something. It takes a while for that water to rush in the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay, and you have a wave, a slow wave, that moves all the way up the bay. So what you end up seeing is a high tide maybe right at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay at 8 o'clock, but the high tide up in the northern part of the bay won't be till two hours after that. At Oak Orchard, which had some flooding during the big storm, the high tide at Indian River Inlet, which goes right into Oak Orchard, that the tide would be like at 7 o'clock, and it wouldn't really crest in Oak Orchard for two and a half hours later. Even though that's only about 10, 12 miles away, water's a fluid. It takes a while to push that up. And by the way, you know, what you were taught about tides in elementary school is semi-right. The real comp It gets really complicated in what's really going on uh, and how that water moves around the earth. But it, again, it all depends, of course, on the angle of the sun and the moon. We have, by the way, two high tides a day. One of them will be higher than the other one. And actually, we have a chart back here. Uh, I don't know where it is, but it's here. And we put the tides in to put on the air every day. And I can see those numbers exactly. But it does vary place to place. One other thing that matters is the lay of the, the ground underneath the water. The topography of the seafloor can also cause high tides. Do you know what a tidal bore is? No. Never seen a tidal bore. There's a few places on Earth. I've seen it one time. One of them is in Nova Scotia where the tides are so strong that what happens with the river, it'll be running in one direction, and then at high tide, the wave will come up the river and turn the whole river around in the other direction, and that's called a tidal bore. And you can actually see the wave coming up, and then the river turns around and it rises two or three feet. There's a place in Nova Scotia where you can actually see a tidal bore, mainly in the high latitudes, like Nova Scotia, parts of England, they have tidal bores. Pretty cool to see. That's great. Now, can you just tell me, for the average person, where can they find these tides? Yeah, the easiest thing to do, we put them on the air on every weathercast. The easiest thing, if you're out and about and you have your iPhone or your Android, you can download an app and it will know where you are and what the nearest water is and it'll give you the high and the low tide there. Keep in mind, uh, because of the sea bottom and everything, those tides are approximate. They'll be within about five minutes. And you can actually predict the tides years in advance. I have the tides for all of Delmarva for this entire year on a little booklet over here. So I can tell you what it'll be on Christmas Eve, what time high tide will be in Ocean City.